sent by his killer boss to hunt down the horn shumi warriors burning down their swamp to fuel their infernal machines. Beast Knob, Gut Spiller, had his lads set themselves up in ambush below the surface of the swamp's waters. Breathing through small reed straws to give themselves air, they blended seamlessly into their surroundings. Moving through the water to a new vantage point to get a better look and make sure the trap was set perfectly, he saw the humies he had been tasked to take out. However, looking through the choking fumes of their forge fires, however, Gutspiller sighted a target he could not pass up. To hell with his warbuster's plans, he had revenge to enact on the Humi who had left him with this hideous burn on his right cheek. Wah! he cried, as battle was joined in Age of Sigmar, Warcry. In today's game of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Warcry, we're going to be playing a scenario randomly drawn from all the different cards from the sets that we have. Now our victory is going to be Rout or Ruse. The attacker chooses one of the defender's battle groups on the battlefield to be the quarry, and one of the attacker's battle groups on the battlefield to be the target. If each of the fighters in the quarry or target battle group is taken down, the battle ends immediately. Otherwise, the battle will end after four battle rounds. When the battle ends, if all the fighters in the quarry battle group have been taken down and any fighters in the target battle group are on the battlefield, the attacker wins. Otherwise, the defender wins. Now we have the Twist Fevered Bite. This gives a extra attack to a model from one of the two players. And this potentially, though, will make the model hurt themselves if they miss any of their attacks. Lastly, we have the deployment map, and we've gone with Lurking Threats today. This is going to have some of our forces semi-surrounded by the opponent. Steven will be playing with the Horns of Hashut today. In his dagger, he has two Shatterers, and then he also has a Demolisher with Crushing Weapons. In his shield is the Ruinator. We then have a Demolisher with Crushing Weapon and Shield, and a Demolisher with Powerful Flame Hurling Flame Hurler. Lastly, we have a Hammer, and this includes a Shatterer, two Demolishers with Crushing Weapons, and the Ruinator Alpha with Warbiden, the Warband's leader. I'll be playing with the Cruel Boys Monster Killers today. Now, in the Dagger, first of all, I have my Clutcher Grot, and then I also have a Neck Slicer with Beast Sticker Harpoon. In my shield is my Beast Knob Leader. I've then got a Baller Boy with Flogger and a Narwood Howler. Lastly, in my hammer is another Narwood Howler, followed by two neck slices with Bone Hackers. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are all deployed. Now there's a couple of interesting things on the battlefield here. First of all, as I am the attacker with the uh, Cruel Boys Monster Killers, I did have to pick a quarry and target. So I have picked your shield, which is the Ruinator, uh, your leader, the Demolisher with Shield and Flame Hurler uh, to be my quarry. So that is these ones here. And the other ones over here will be my target. Now, meanwhile, you also won the roller for Fevered Bites. This is our twist. Uh, you have picked your Ruinator Alpha here to have the Fevered Bite. This gives him an extra attack at all times. However, if he ever misses with an attack, he takes a point of damage for doing so. So that's it. We've got priority for round one. Today's video is sponsored by Gap Games, a fantastic miniature wargaming store in Queensland, Australia. They stock a wide variety of miniature war games from all things Games Workshop to some of my personal favourites, Conquest, The Last Argument of Kings, and all things Modifius war games as well. Use our affiliate code in the link below to help support both this fantastic store and the channel as well. <laughs> So this is for the Cruel Boy Monster Killers. Uh, I have a triple four, double three to begin with. And for the Horns of Hashut, Steven has gone and gotten double four, double three. Right, so Wild Dice Wise, Steven has chosen to make a triple four over there. Uh, I'm going to keep mine for a later round. So Steven has priority for the round. First activation. Flame thrower. Yeah, is exactly what I thought it would be going to be the flame hurler 
All right, so to begin with, your flame heller now is using the engulfing flames triple. You've picked the cruel boy here, uh, which is going to be one of my next slices. Uh, now, you roll a dice equal to the value of the ability for him for each four plus, it's three damage points. So go for it. Uh, that'll be six damage. Now, you now roll half the amount of dice for each fr uh, friendly fighter of me within two. Uh, so we'll go for the other neck slicer. Each four plus does three. He gets none. And then the monkey uh, gets nothing. So just six damage to my neck slicer here. All right, so now onto your base attack with the flame pellet. You're going to target the same neck slicer you've already damaged. So threes, because you're strength five with the flame hella wielder. Uh, that'll just be the crit. Uh, going into him again. Yep. So you need to do four damage to me. Uh, that will just be the two. One. one point of damage base. Yep. Alrighty, well, seeing that he's not long for this world, he's going to activate next. All right, so first of all, I'm going to move up. I'm then going to use the Sorum Up ability for my triple four. Now how this works, I roll the dice equal to the value of the ability, which is four in this case for a triple four. I now roll them and I now need to effectively make a straight. And for each number in my straight, I will do three damage points to you. So uh, one, two, three, that is nine damage points to your flame hurler. And you'll be happy to know that I'm strength five as well. So I'll be winning on threes with my melee attack. No, I won't. Uh, that's what I get for being that confident. Uh, you've moved up with your fighter there with the shield when you demolishes. Uh, so needing fours, can you strength three? I am D three. Uh, that will be two and a crit. Two four. And so with that good rolling, that will be eight damage and take him out of action. Uh, going to make my attacks with the next slicer here with the harpoon moving up. Uh, I am strength four into T of your demolisher is four, so I need fours. Uh, that will be one and the crit, so that will take you out. Uh, your Ruinator then moves in. You're going to spend a double for Stampede of Iron. This allows you to roll a uh, dice and equal to. Um, it allows you to roll a dice, so on a four to five, one damage. Six will be the value. Six, so it's three damage. Uh, so then you've got an attack, you are going to need threes with your Ruinator. Uh, that'll be a double crit and a hit. Eight, nine, ten. That'll be ten damage, so that'll take me to thirteen wounds. Uh, I'm going to spend a double for Rush, moving up my uh, Beast Knob. Uh, your turn next. So as you do that, you've made a move. Um, I am going to do a reaction here, which is going to be Cruel Trap. I can now roll a dice after you finish a move action near me. On a 5+, plus, you'll take 4 damage, or not be able to move for the rest of the round, or otherwise you take 2 points of damage. So let's see if I can roll a 5. I do. Take 4 points of damage, please. And so 4 attacks, your strength 3, I'm T3, so needing 4s. Uh, nothing on that one. Turns out my trap sort of took you off balance. I'm going to go the monkey here. He has five attacks, so we are strength three. Your demolisher without shield is uh, T4. Yeah, because they're pretty darn tough. Uh, so I will need fives with the monkey. Uh, just the one, so there'll be two points of damage. And after the attack, the monkey will make a disengage. So uh, next up. You've got your leader there. You've gone with your Shatterer instead. So into the Baller Boy. Uh, strength of the Shatterer is three, so D3. Uh, and fours. That'll be a crit and a hit, so it'll be five points of damage. Mm -hmm. My Baller Boy only has one action left, so I make a disengage with him. You then make a double move with the Ruinator Alpha, which leaves me with just one monkey left. So we're going to go in here. And we're going to go into your Ruinator. Uh, I will need fives with your high defense. Uh, that'll just be the crit, which is four points of damage. And that'll be that. And that'll leave just your Demolisher at the back there. He's going to make a double move as well. And so he ends up there. Uh, so uh, we'll go into priority for turn two now. No reserves coming in on turn two in this one. 
Uh, so we are priority for that round two. I'm going to have two wild dice. Steven will have the one for the round. So okay. this is for the Cruel Boy Monster Killers. I got a double three, double five. Steven will have for the Haunt of a Shoot a double four, and that is it. All right, so wild dice wise, Steven has gone and made a triple four there. I've not spent either of mine yet. Um, so I, Stephen is going to have priority, so your turn. So to begin your activation, you're going with the Ruinator and you're going to place the Ash Bomb. Now, this does a couple of things here. Um, putting it behind because I can remove it, I believe. Uh, so Stephen has placed the Ash Bomb token there. Now, enemy fighters are minus one toughness and minus one attack while within three inch of the Ash Bomb. Uh, so you're now going to attack my Cruel Boy, my neck slicer there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm minus one toughness. This means you're on threes. So go for it. See what you can do. Two. And so that takes me out. Now you're going to need threes again, attacking the monkey this time, which is the Narwhal Howler. And threes. So that will do four points of damage to him. Uh, so I'm going to activate the Howler next. Now I'm going to spend a double for Cruel Taunt. I'm putting this on your Ruinator Alpha. This Ruin reduces all damage from him by two, uh, to a minimum of one from all hits and critical hits he does, unless you target me. So I'm then gonna move with the Howler next. Your mother smells of elderberries. <laughs> uh, so you do get an extra attack. Now essentially you turn from two five to one three on your damage. However, you do get an extra attack from the fevered bites. Uh, but every time you miss, you take a point of damage as well. So, into the Howler, this means you will need uh, threes, because you are strength four, I believe, on the Ruinator Alpha. Uh, so, you got a crit, so you do four points of damage, but you also take two. Realising he didn't actually have to make a move, uh, he's got a two-inch weapon. It's been a little bit since we've played these guys on the channel, so we're just allowing Steven to move him back and make the second attack. Uh, which you miss twice more, but you do the exact same damage. So you take another two, and I take another four. Uh, so my Howler here is going to go into a Ruinator. I am minus one attack. I do need fives for strength three. Uh, I will get one and a crit, so that will be six points of damage. Um, and then I'm going to attack the other guy as well now. So you demolish her. Uh, ooh. We'll take the six points of damage as well. Uh, no, we'll take toughness four. Toughness four in him, so this means you'll actually take eight points of damage on that one. Sorry, I'm only strength three, so even T4, I would have only done six. All right, so you've moved up one of your demolishers, attacking the Howler. So go for it. Uh, strength four, so threes will do it. Uh, so, I'm going to spend a double for a rush, which gets my Beast Knob into your fighter that hasn't yet attacked. Uh, I am going to need threes, as I'm strength six in my lead. Just the one, but there will be three points of damage. And so, knowing that uh, if I kill both those models, you actually lose the game automatically. He disengages and then moves over there. Um... I've got the monkey here to attack with. That is it. Um, so, five attacks. You are uh, defense four, so I do need fives. Um, wow, okay. That'll be 12 points of damage on you. Here, turkey, 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 as I move him and trying to cut off the escape route for your dude after murderizing his, one of your friends. And then just to finish the round off, you've got your two moving here. Uh, that is the end of the round. Nothing has changed in game state wise, uh, though you did lose a member from the target. Today's game is played on the fantastic battle mats from our longtime supporters, Mithras Games. Top quality battle mats from New Zealand that have a variety of different designs that can suit almost any battlefield you could imagine. All right, so priority for turn three, we have had our reserves come on this round. So this is for the Cruel Boys. I rolled one, two, three dice, I think there. There you go, I have a double two, double one. 
And uh, then for the Horns of Hashut, Stephen, you have got a double three, that's it. All right, I've gone and made a double five, double six. You've made a double five. Now this means you still have three singles. I've still kept a wild dice for the last round. Uh, so you are going to get first activation. Alrighty, so you're starting with your Ruinator here, attacking the monkey. So go for it, you need threes. I mean, that's a double crit, so that'll be eight points of damage, correct? Mm -hmm. So attacking again, a crit and a hit does it. That's two hits. I have two wounds left. Um, so I'm going to attack back with a Howler. Uh, five attacks. There's one and a crit. How many wounds does he have? 15. Yep. That'll be six damage and take him out. We've then got a move left with the Howler, and we are chasing down the last member of the quarry, who is going to make a run for it. Does he want to go there? There's another monkey. Uh, I'm going to chase you down with the other Howler. Six attacks after spending one for an extra attack. Uh, that will not do anything, because you are T4. Uh, so you're going to ensure that monkey dies then. Uh, spending the double there for the extra attack. Uh, so go for it. You are strength four, I'm T3, so you strength need th three. Oh, strength three, sorry, so you do need fours. However, a crit on one. Uh, uh, so six and eight, that takes him down. Um, so I am going to go with the beast knob next. Uh, so the Beast Knob moves up, he's going to make a ranged attack. So I am strength 4 into T5, so I do need 5s on this. Um, so, let's see what I can get. That'll be 1 and a crit, so that'll be 6 points of damage. Onto the 9, that means 15, which I think is enough to take out the Demolisher. And you've won. And that, because I take out at the end of the game, I've taken out the Quarry. And you still have models left from your uh, target. I win the game. Um, as you think you are safe. And then the beast knob is just like. <laughs> and throws his giant spear. Um, good game man. Victory to the cruel boy monster killers.